Hello, this is a short video about metal oxides and the reactions of metals with oxygen. Now, most metals react with oxygen, and when they react with oxygen, they make the metal oxide. Not all metals react with oxygen, but when they do, they make the metal oxide. And an example could be magnesium reacting with oxygen to make magnesium oxide. So that's just one example. When metals do react with oxygen, it's called, or the reaction is called an oxidation reaction. Called an oxidation reaction because the metal has reacted with oxygen, oxygen has been added through a chemical reaction. The opposite of oxidation is reduction, so that's when oxygen has been removed by a chemical reaction. And we're going to look at that in more detail when we look at extraction of metals. But for now, oxidation and reduction are the key terms that we need to be able to use. Some metals will react quickly with oxygen, some will react slowly with oxygen. And one example of one that reacts very quickly is lithium. And we've had a look at this before, and you may in fact have seen this in class. Your teacher may have shown you this, but if not, we can have a quick revisit. Here we've got some lithium metal, and lithium metal is quite soft, and it's so soft it can be cut with a knife. If we cut it with a knife and expose the surface, we'll notice it's nice and shiny, like metals are, but it very quickly goes a dark colour in front of your eyes and that's because it reacts with the oxygen in the air to make lithium oxide. So there we have a layer of lithium oxide. Here are three other examples of metals. We've got copper, sodium and the last one there is gold. The reaction of copper with oxygen is as shown there, the one with sodium is shown there and the last one with gold. In fact gold is very unreactive so it won't react with oxygen. There's no reaction there so there's, the products and the reactants are the same. So gold actually does not react with oxygen, so we could just label that as no reaction. But the other two do react, and those are the equations, but those equations there are not balanced. So this is a perfect opportunity to do some balancing practice. Always good. We could do some balance practice, and these are actually quite straightforward, so why don't you pause and give it a quick go, and then we can go through the answers. So for the first one, it's just a case of putting a 2 in front of the copper oxide, and a two in front of the copper. And then for the second one, a two in front of the sodium, and that's balanced. Okay, so just a quick video about metal oxides. We're gonna look at oxidation and reduction in more detail, as we said in a later video. But for now, that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.